Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to 6pm content. The dream scenario today is that we are getting Mr. Alexander Pato to come back uh, as a flashback card at Orlando. Obviously, dream scenario, five star skills. As he used to be back in his heyday, AC Milan hero. When I was using him on like FIFA 12 with Ibra, Robinho, El Sharawi, the five star skiller, like quad up front, was incredible. So that's what I want back today. Whether that's what we're actually going to get, I have no idea. I finally scored a goal from a bicycle kick. Um, it's only taken months uh, for me to get one that's actually counted. So there you go. Absolute scenes. But. Today, that is what we're expecting. It's a Thursday, the day normally before a promo. However, Team of the Year voting doesn't end until Monday. So we're not really expecting to get anything tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe we'll get some kind of like new foundations or something like that. But as it stands, we're not really thinking that anything is coming. So today, we are just hoping for this Pato uh, to be released or... Something else that's awesome would be great as well, obviously. So I thought we'd open up these couple of packs and then see what we do get at 6pm. We've got a couple of seconds to go, literally less than 10 seconds, and then our 6pm content is here. So, two players pack to end it off. Did we get anything in this? No. No, we do not. And there we go. It is six. So, what have we got? Is he here? Actually, let's quickly... Do we have one of these? We do have one of these. You never know! No, you do know. It's a preview pack. I don't get good preview packs. Some people out here get, like, prime icons in them. Not me. Let's go to SBCs. Let's go across to live. Muriel, Damian, Alexander, Pato. There he is. Pow! Earn a special flashback Pato celebrating his 10-11 Serie A season with Milan. Now, back when he was at AC Milan, that's when he had 5-star skills. If this card doesn't have one, that's a joke. You're so stupid, EA. I don't get it. What's wrong with you? Let's have a little look on generations, shall we? Alexander Pato. Why? Why would you kill the card? Kill any hype. I mean, it's obviously a massive upgrade from his base. 14 pace and dribbling, 13 shot, 8 defending, 11 passing, 13 physical, double 4 star, high low. Uh, oops, I should probably click on this one, shouldn't I? Pace, good. Shooting, good. Long passing, dreadful. Short, good. Dribbling stats, really good. 86 heading, 94 jumping, 80 stamina is questionable. 86 strength, really good though. Really, really good. Now, <laughs> if we go to Generations, he's been out of the game for years. FIFA 19 was the last one he was in. FIFA, it wasn't in 18 either. 17, 16 at Sao Paulo, Chelsea and Villarreal. What a season. FIFA 14, FIFA 13. This though. This was the card. The five-star skills, four-star weak foot, Pato of Dreams. But they said this is from... This is from 10-11. Which... Does that make that FIFA 10 or FIFA 11? I always forget how the numbers work. Now, that'd be FIFA 11, wouldn't it? Because if it's 21-22 20, season right now when we're playing FIFA 22, that'd mean it's based on this card. This season. Or in theory, if it's based off that whole season, then it should actually be based off the FIFA 12 card because that's the card that he got next year based on his 10-11 season, no? But his FIFA 11 card had five-star skills. So what are you doing? What are you doing? Did his FIFA 10 card have five-star? They don't show the skill moves. I guess we'll never know. But FIFA 11 had 5 star, so did FIFA 12. What about FIFA 13 at Corinthians? That's when he got downgraded, but that's too late. So I just don't understand the logic of bringing in a card like this and not giving him the thing that he deserves for his time back there. 
That's really, really poor. Really poor. He requires an 83 with a team of the week, an 84, and an 85. It's not outrageously expensive, but it just doesn't mean as much without the five-star skills. Yes, he will most likely be strong linking to some kind of end of an era nanny card that's going to come out later this year. He's already said that he's retiring. Um, either during? Maybe he already has. Can't remember. But he's retiring at Orlando. So... He should be getting a strong link to him later in the year. It would have been so sick to see a five-star link into a five-star, but you do you, EA. Did we get anything else alongside him is the other question. Pyatt's not new. Triple upgrade. 84 plus player pick. No, that's not new. Is it? Maybe that is new. <coughs> I don't know. That may be new as well. I don't remember seeing this, but it's only out for one day. Although I guess Headliners ends tomorrow, so that makes sense. Um, one of three rare gold players rated 84 overall or higher. Okay. Interesting. We can have a, we can have a little look at this. Um, this is new. Okay, cool. So, let's see what it requires. 83 with the team of the week. We'll do it for the content, because why not? Even though we're on the Xbox account, we'll still do it. Um, we'll go with Delore in here. And then an 83 rated team around him. So, let's start things off in goal. We've got... Let's go Castile so we can go lower elsewhere. Uh, like this. Maybe we, maybe we go Ricky P, actually, to be fair. Centre back. We'll go with Aspi and Hermoso. Left back, uh, Region <coughs> can get a strong link to Aspi. Three centre mids, Marino, Campagna, and Fabian. We'll just go Spanish basically everywhere. Porto, and we'll just put Ferran Torres in here. Now, we can definitely downgrade this. Like, I'd be absolutely amazed if I can't, to be honest with you. Um, let's do that. That actually loses Kem. Uh, so 86 down to 84. Yeah, we can do that. 84 down to 83. Oh, we can't do that. Can we do 81 for 82? Yep. Uh, 81 for 82 again. Yep. Uh, 82 for 83. No. So there's our limit. That is our team. One team of the week. An 83 rated team with 60 chemistry to get this player pick. There is... Ooh, there is... A loading screen. So we've got Team of the Year warm-up series starts tomorrow. So maybe this is players... Maybe they will have already started collating the votes and seen players that are clearly going to mess out. Uh, miss out, sorry. And those players may get... This might be a replacement for like Team of the Year nominee kind of cards or honorable mentions, those kind of things. That would be my expectation. And so it does look like we are actually getting something tomorrow at six, which is pretty cool. Now, let's do this player pick to end this off. If you did enjoy it and you're on YouTube, thumb it up, subscribe. If you're on Twitch, please do hit that follow button. We stream for hours and we want to try and get as many of you joining the channel to see daily content as, uh, as possible. So please do come on in. It would mean the world to me. Let's open this up to end it off. Do we get anything good? Uh, Lukaku. Mm, meh. Uh, I mean, how much is he worth? 25k? That SBC definitely costs more than 25k. So we do not profit, but it is what it is.